Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Angela. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Before I get started, I want to go over my disclaimers. If you are in immediate danger, please call 911 or you can reach out to the domestic hotline at 800 799 SAFE, 800 799 7233. And for mental health resources, reach out to NAMI at 800 950 NAMI. 800-950-6264. You can also text at 741741. And for additional resources, reach out to the National Suicide Hotline at 988. You can either text or call, you can, I'm sorry, you can text or call that number. With that being said, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. So today I want to talk to you about uh, defeat. Uh, you know, being in a narcissistic relationship, you know what defeat is all about. You have tried your best to make things right and things have just gotten so bad to the point to where you felt defeated and you didn't know what to do, but you made it out of the relationship. You made it to the point to where um, you gave it to God and you took a new lease on life. You walked away from something that could have potentially ended your life. Uh, it did a number on your mental, but you decided, you know, you needed to protect yourself. And if you have children, also to protect them. So you uh, have defeated the narcissist. And that's the, the problem now. You know, there was the whispers and you didn't listen. You didn't play into it. You have shown that you are strong to walk away from this. Now you have defeated the narcissist. And what's left? What's going to happen? So they're still going to come at you because uh, one thing I can say is a narcissist is all about themselves. They don't like to lose, so they will come at you. And um, when you think that they're not around. They're still in the shadows. Like I said, they're still trying to win you back with people talking about what you should have done, but you've learned to defeat them by doing the healing, by staying to yourself, going to God and not allowing people to, uh, be a part of your healing. That's the worst thing that you can do is invite someone into your healing, because if you do, then you lose the battle. But, uh, we're not going to do that, so you have defeated the narcissist. And one thing I want to say, um, sometimes when you're going through things, um, you have to keep it to yourself. You can't tell everyone. You can't share because a lot of people will take that and use it against you and spread lies and spread rumors and tell people um uh, about what you're going through and then they'll come back and throw it in your face or they won't show any um, empathy towards your situation at all. Um, just like I told you when my sister had passed, I told a few people that needed to know because they were in close relationship with this person just as I was. Um, they show no empathy toward my situation. You know, and then God was just showing me people that I needed to weed out of my life, you know, in order to defeat a narcissistic person, you have to get them out of your life. And uh, believe it or not, um, during the time that I was going through this, it just seems like everything was caving in on me. It felt like uh, I couldn't win for losing. But then I was able to come out of that and I was able to hold my head up. And then I started to realize that um, you can't tell everybody what you're going through, no matter how painful it is to you. Sometimes you need to just keep that a secret. And God will place people in your life that mean well and that, that's there to help you. But for the most part, when you know that you've been in this relationship and you had other people sitting on the sidelines, uh, watching the relationship or, you know, friends in common with this narcissistic person, you don't want to share with them what you've been through, you know, because it's all designed to help destroy your healing. So when you keep your mouth closed, you don't address the whispers and you go to God, you have defeated the narcissist. So uh, continue to do that. You know, I know it's hard. I know you may feel like you're sitting there by yourself and you don't have no one, but you do. You have uh, God 
And like I said, he will place people in your life that need to be there. But uh, sometimes you have to understand that healing is individual. You can't bring anybody on this journey to heal with you. You can hear from others. They can give you uh, encouraging words, but you have to go deep inside. You have to do the healing by yourself so you can defeat this narcissist, so you can stand strong and hold your head up. Uh, and don't let the whispers, even your own whispers, come into you, play and tell you, well, what's the use? You're now this age and you spent so much time with this person, you might as well have stayed. Uh, because your life is almost over. That's not the case. Your life is just beginning. So you need to keep that in mind and you need to continue to push forward. If you know someone that's going through this, please share this video. If it's you that's going through it, watch it as many times as you need to. And I will see you again tomorrow. Thank you for watching.